All right, here is a test of the legendary Taurus fan. I have looked for videos that are showing the amp draw of this thing, and I found one or two, but they weren't very good. Um, and they only showed one speed on it, so I wanted to do an actual little bit better test uh, and is easier to read on a digital uh, amp meter. I've got my little power center I built here, um, built an amp meter. Shows voltage to battery, battery's fully charged. All right, right now I have it plugged into the low side and we're gonna turn it on. All right, so right at about 11 amps on when, now remember this is free air. This isn't under a load, so let's actually sit it on bench top and see what it looks like under an extreme condition so go here Long. so it went up about amp and a half two amps something like that all right let me stick it on the high side stick the camera down for a sec All right, we're gonna do a free air. This thing has a lot of torque, man. So we don't knock it down. Hold on, let me set it so it doesn't fall. All right, ready? Pretty steady at 29 amps, a little over 29 amps. All right, let's do another extreme. Uh, cut that section off. This thing torques really bad. I'm gonna have to hold this damn thing. I'll put the camera down just for a sec. So that should be a lot more uh, inhibiting the airflow a lot more than what it would be on a radiator. But then again, you got to add heat too. So heat might add a little bit more to the amp draw. But like you can see, it was about 33, a little over 33 amps. So now you know what a Taurus fan actually pulls under hard load. But I would add a couple percent when it's under extreme hot conditions. But there you go.